Hi everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Today for the quick tip of the day, we are going to talk about spool caps for your thread. Many different types of spools of thread. Um, some people have some really old threads sitting around and new threads they've purchased and the spools change through time. But one thing that never changes is using the appropriate size spool cap for the spool of thread you're using. Stick with me, I'm gonna give you some tips. Welcome back. Okay, now let's talk about the different types of spools. Some of us have some of these older threads that we don't want to get rid of. They're still good. And they have this old traditional type of spool. And if you notice on some of these spools, they will have a little slit at the top here. And what happens with that is um, your thread can get caught on that slit as it's feeding out, which will cause drag and pull on the needle and break it. Same with this. This is another old-fashioned thread spool. It's got a little slit up here. The old-fashioned Coates and Clarks do. And then we have the contemporary spools that have a little groove in here where you wrap your thread in when you want to put it away, um, which keeps your thread in place. You wrap it in there, okay? And then there's other spools of thread today, like this one, where you have it opens up like this and then you store your thread in there and cap it up and then your thread will not catch on anything around there after you take it out and you're going to use it and it's feeding out or feeding from the side but most of the machines are going to feed horizontally it won't has nothing here to catch on so you can see how nice that stores it but how many of us really <laughs> take time to store our thread come on be honest it's always hanging out like that you know I know I do I'm in a hurry I got so much to do but we get in the habit of putting it away now this one you can never find a way to put it away um, unless you stick it in that slit up there so let me show you on the machine what can happen if you don't use the right spool th uh, spool cap we've got the small the medium and the large and there are reasons to use these I see a lot of people out there that would tell other people oh I don't need to use them I change threads so much when I'm embroidering for example that I don't need to use them well yeah you do because when that machine breaks and has to go to the repair shop that um, customer is going to tell that uh, repair technician well the teacher said I didn't have to use spool caps so be wise not foolish so as you can see uh, here on this spool of thread I'm going to put it in and some people will just want to feed it through and what happens when it starts pulling see how it gets caught on that slit and it pulls you'll get caught in that slit it'll pull uh, your needle will drag and the needle will break how do we prevent this from happening we use the appropriate size spool cap now would you think this one would take a medium well if I put a medium on here it's not covering the edge and you're still going to get caught in that slit so you're going to use the larger one and the larger one is going to give you enough to go around you see how it's going around completely goes up above and around the actual spool of thread so as you're feeding it through the machine you see how nice that turns and that's exactly what's going to happen let me show you on um, a darker thread now let me pull this out and get some darker thread out here okay put it in here and so in other words if it could have a chance of catching on that slit there so you're going to put the spool the largest spool on and then when you feed it through you see how nice that's going to feed through nothing's going to catch let me zoom that in for you so you can see what I'm talking about I'm a little closer for you okay and as you can see as it's feeding it's going to go around that um, spool cap it will not catch on anything therefore um, it will not break a needle on you so this is very important um, when you're sewing when you're going to embroider all those fun things now what also can happen too when you're sewing what happens is if you don't if you say for instance that you use one of these spools of thread here you pull this one out that the modern spool okay let's say you have a modern spool 
and say, oh, I don't need a cap because it's smooth on top. Well, what could happen sometimes, and believe me, you've seen this happen, it gets wrapped around that, like that, and it'll pull and drag and break on you. So keep this tip and keep this in mind when you sew for flawless sewing. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on my next video.